Hey guys, how's it going? It's Cornish Ratbeard here bringing you another video of Seven Days to Die. It's currently night time, so not much is going on, so I thought I'd come down to our little base which we've been constructing. Um, just thought I'd show you what's going on down here so far. I've, um, through the night this is, I've managed to dig out quite a bit of this just by whacking away on the rock down here. It's going to be, um, it's going to be our main base down here. I am going to be making this a bit bigger. It's quite big as it is, but I'm going to expand it a little bit more. Now remember, I did say that we are directly under our base. Here we are. Here's our base. So that's going to protect us from the screamers, which will start to come in pretty soon. Once once we get some forges down here, and then we start getting them all lit up, that does attract the screamers. Now, they are screaming female zombies, if we can call them female, or whatever gender they are. Um, they head towards these forges, so they will just gather up above us and um, just die in our spikes, which is great. And then we can go up and loot them if they do drop any bags. So I'm going to carry on down here for a little while. Today's plan, well, I'm thinking the farm. we got to get that farm up and running. Keep getting that meat and we can start making some meat stews, which is going to last a lot longer than what I've got right now. So um, I'll bring you back when it's daylight, so I'll see you guys then. Okay, so I've chopped down enough trees, we just needed to gather as much wood as we could because I had none. And I'm actually thinking, um, there's all our wood there, but I'm actually thinking about making the farm plots over here. So like near our main base, what it's going to be, our main base entrance. So. Having something just outside would be um, probably more beneficial, wouldn't it, than having it over there? Because eventually, that's not really going to be our main place, if I'm honest. It's all right for now, but but I'm thinking, you know, down there is going to be our main base. So, farm plot over here. So, let's see what we need. So, we've got the farm plot, and we need the wood, the rotting flesh, the nitrate powder, and the clay soil. So we can make 10 of those. It's going to take three minutes. That's not too bad. So while that's doing that, maybe we can have a look to see where exactly we're going to want it. Right, so we've got the farm plots done. And I've just laid one just to have a look to see what we can do. I've got a few fence, picket fences here. So... I'm wondering what we can do to make this look quite nice. I mean, look, that goes like that, but I was thinking maybe um, sort of having a bit of a gap then, maybe a little gate that goes into it. So if we sort of did the fence all the way around and down and then had a gate in line with this sort of here and then carried it on around so many and then had a couple of rows you see what i mean so i'm gonna lay um so if we're gonna have a fence there a gate there so i'm gonna lay say like four like that have the look at the walkway and then another four like so and then we're gonna come down I don't know, quite far with them when we actually manage to make them. They do cost quite a lot of materials, actually. What is the one thing that I'm out of at the moment? Clay. So we can go get some more clay. That'll be nice and easy. Got plenty of that laying around on the floor, look. Um, so yeah, so I'll just go with one there and one there so we kind of get the gist of what's going on. And then I'd like my little fence to be sort of like this one here see I don't know if I want to go any more wide or just go really long I might just go really long with it all so I would then go down here and then switch this around um, can that fit onto that one there where's the fence gone it's there yeah Okay, so that's cool. Just to keep the vermin out. 
And then obviously we'd do the same over here. One there. And one down. And a couple. Oh, didn't want that there. Oh, I'm so silly sometimes. Right, hopefully that just destroys the fence. Yeah, good. And then we want it like that. And like that. And so on. Right, so that's going to be the garden. The farm. Which isn't too bad. I don't know if they do... They do the metal railings and stuff. But I don't know if they do... A Gate? No. I'll have to have a look sometime off camera and see if there's something that's there's bound to be something in there which we could use which would work for us. So now what we need to do is plant some stuff. So I'm going to head back to the base, get some seeds, and um, I'll meet you back here at the farm. Okay, so I've picked up some seeds. We're going to have to put them down on our tool belt. Got some corn. Let's get them planted. So I think maybe we should go down in one row for corns and maybe some down there. And then one row for potatoes, one row for potatoes. Or we could do the double all the way down. So one side we could do all potatoes and one side we could do all corn. But there are some other things that I do want to have. So, um, I might just do, might just do this whole bit here. I might just do like s maybe nine, a section of nine for corns. Because the main ones we want right now are the potato and the corns, right? So, let's get those potatoes in there. And, um, if I'm honest with you, we could just put the corn down here as well for now. And then when we start getting more potato seeds and more of other things, we will switch it up. We just need to beat them out. That'd be it'd be pretty easy. What else have I got? I've also got some coffee. So I'm gonna put that in there. That's pretty awesome. And we wanna keep an eye out for some mushrooms as well while we're out and about because you can put them pretty much anywhere. They can even grow down in our cave down there. Right. So that's that done. Not bad little farm, is it? Not bad little start. Next on the agenda for now, apart from getting as much food as we can get, is, let me see, right, heading off to probably do that tier 2 fetch clear quest. It's a bigger building, which means more zombies for the start, more loot, and a better reward when we finish it. So I'm going to go and sort my bag out, make sure that I'm not starving, and then we're going to head out towards that quest. Right guys, here we are at the Navs Gain Creamery. It's a pretty big building. Decent size. Not sure I can, I can remember the last time I did this one, but should be good. Uh, we sorted the bags out. Got a bit of food in, in us, look. Bit of drink. We've got a goldenrod tea just in case. You know, goldenrod tea. It's, it's real good, guys. Real good. That will really help us out. Um... So yeah, let's let's enter this quest and see what's going to happen here. Is that the way in? That side's unlocked, so I'm guessing that is the way in. The um, exclamation mark usually starts where your point of entry is. Um, okay, where is everyone? That's unlocked. Let's just... Keep it kind of shut for a minute because I want to have a little look around. Like I say, it's a bit new to me. So what's in the plastic barrels? Nothing over here. And nothing there. So what have we got to do? This is a find supplies. Oh, and it's... Okay, there's some petrol. And it's clear area. Some gasoline. Okay. That's that little bit done. So we need to keep an eye out for our little bag. Probably somewhere up the top there. And we've got our flaming... Um, uh oh, they're kind of coming at us fast here. Got to be careful here, guys. 
Let's see if we can set them on fire. Ho ho ho! He's quick! Come on out then. Let's just play this a bit safer. Nice. You. Alright, down and out. Yeah, so we do have our um, flaming wooden club. Where was that noise coming from? Okay, he's coming straight at us there. Don't like the uneven ground. That's why I like to take him outside, you know? Come on. Come on out. It's best to fight outside, buddy. I want to kill you out here. Oh, there you go. She's burning. Oh, let's put him out of his misery. Right, so. Where was we? I can hear flies or something. Like wasps. That'd be flies over the dead bodies, wouldn't it? And all the garbage that's around. Right, so. I normally miss the bag so I need to keep an eye out for all that sort of good stuff there's another barrel here okay we're gonna need that anyway for when we get a mini bike or even better one of those really cool motorbikes with the spikes on the front yep take that a bit more fuel hello all right so that's where we're gonna be heading let's just have a quick look this workbench hmm really bad Shovel, no thank you. Alright, well let's head on up. We're coming up, zombies. Don't drop on their heads. Alright, so we need to go across there. Oh no. Where are they going to come from? I think they're going to come from in here. Yes, they're all Bob the Builders in here, aren't they? It's a creamery and you're all Bob the Builders. Come on now. Get away from me, don't touchy, no touchy with the flames. All right, we've leveled up. Oh, hello. You can go on fire for a minute. This is kind of cool, man. I love this club. Acts like a torch as well. Anywhere around to go? That looks like the outside anyway. Yeah. Okay, any good clothes for me? No, but there's a book. Right, ragdoll. Fully automatic mode has an increasing chance to ragdoll an enemy with each hit. Machine gunner. Cool, man. I don't want them, but I'll take that book. Fact. Let's read it now. All right, what did you... What was you hiding in here? Toolbox. Bag in there. I'm not going to bother smashing my way through there. And a chair. Okay. All right, we're going to have to do a bit of parkouring over here. Over we go. Hopefully it doesn't collapse on me. Okay. What are you doing? Where do you go to? Hello? Nothing down there. Moving on to the next one. Nope, nothing in there. There's got to be something in one of these, surely. I love the doors, though. Ah, look. Wait. No one's coming. Weathered backpack. Um, where? Nope, definitely not. 52 bucks. Let's bring it along with us. Right, let's try and make this jump, guys. Here we go. Ooh. Hmm. I don't like that way. It looks all locked up. Right, which way now? I guess we go up. Right, is our bullets all loaded up? No. You never know about those dogs. And they are dangerous. And scary. Let's carry on up a minute. Just to have a goosey gander. Don't you think? There's a big tree in the way here. It's really annoying. Okay, well, let's go back down. And let's try and go across the balance beam. <laughs> okay, looks like this was a little kitchen. 
So we've gone across there nicely. Let's have a look in the sink. Acid and, some, and a wrench. Let's scrap the wrench and let's get the acid. Okay. It says the satchel is... Can you anyone see it? It's around here somewhere. I'm not as if you're going to be able to tell me where it is, but... You might be screaming at the video saying, I've seen it! Oh my days! Look at that! Now that was reactions. I heard something and I thought, what the hell? Oh, I know what that is. And there he was right in front of me. I'm going to cut him up because... I want the rotten meat to make our farms even bigger. So we've got the one, two, probably going to get five. Just like a chicken or something. Four, okay. What, what was that? Right, so where to now then? I guess we got to make this jump here. And then through this little gap. Hello, anyone home? Oh, there's a medicine pile there. Nah, I don't want that. Ooh, sounds like a guard dog or something, doesn't it? Oh, it's one of you. Get out of it, you. Yeah, take that. I suppose that was its guard dog, wasn't it? Right, we can scrap you and let's take the nitrate for a minute. We'll drop it. Oh, there's another one! Sneaky little devil! Get away from me! What are you... You all on drugs? Okay. Right, that's worth 100 bucks, so that's coming with me. Right, anyway. Do we have stuff that we wanted to look at in these places? Yeah, let's have a look in the... Bit of brass. Take that. Water. Yeah, nice, nice. Always look in the trash, guys. Look, 232. Don't want the lead. I'm not making bullets just yet. I'm finding enough of those. There's lots of medicine around. Nice. Take them. There's another large medical pile. Oh, nice. An arrow rest mod. Okay. We'll take it. Right, moving... Well, anyway, we need to find our bag. So it says it's like... Maybe above us? Maybe below us? I don't know. Let's see. Is that some rubbish? Already checked you. Right, don't give in on me, Floor. But I think... Hang on. Let's just have a quick look. Ah, there it is. It's right outside. Luckily, I had a quick look. There it is, look, there's the satchel. Nice. Right, so now we've got to clear out the zombies, because we haven't we haven't completed the mission yet. Moving on up. That was a song. Moving on up. Right, hang on. They've interrupted my song. You get set on fire for that, little Miss Cheerleader. Right, you want some of this, do you? Up in flames you go. Yep, you're going on the bonfire today. Can you? You're up there with Guy Fawkes, matey boy. Yeah, fought just as much. You stay down. Three of them, then. Tried their luck. With the Cornish rat beard. None of them succeeded. Right, so what do we have here? We have a hundred bucks. And I don't... Mm, do I want the paper? Not really. Not right now. Um, still got zombies to clear out. The yellow one. Well, not yellow one, but... It's got a yellow dot on my radar. It's probably out here somewhere. How are we doing for space? We're doing alright. Alright, well, I don't like the look of that. But he's up there. Probably along with all the decent loot. Um, you know what, guys? Play it safe. If you're not confident, play it safe. Just like that. Right. 
Whoa ho ho! Alright, it's on. He's got me. That was you, wasn't it? Right, keep on moving, keep moving, keep moving. Smack and move, smack and move. Oh! Come on around the corner. Smack and move. Form an orderly queue, please, for your destruction. There we go. There's one down, two down. This one, this fatty though, he's taken a bit of a beat and he's down and out though. Any more? Any more birds or anything? Alright, didn't really manage to have a look around here, so we just double check, see if we didn't miss anything, because I think we've got the jackpot here. Yeah, look. Not much, but, you know, every little helps. Let's have a look then, see what we've got. Okay, well, don't want you, for a start. Let's get rid of the food pile, got a bit of rotting flesh, some more golden rods. Right, we need an axe to break into this. Let's have a look to see what we've got in our first one. Lots of gun parts, okay. A few things we can sell. Um, can I get to that? Yep. And I am encumbered. But a spear has not really got a sales price, so, you know, we'll just scrap that. Yeah, that was pretty rubbish, wasn't it? Alright, uh, so we need to head back to the trader. Where's my bike? He's down there on the compass. Can I get down safely without breaking anything? That's the question. Look, we can go onto that roof. There's nothing to really jump onto that way yet, so let's just have a look around, see if there's like a bin or something we can jump onto. We may be able to get onto that windowsill. Yeah. And then, oh, the floor, but we made it okay. So that's cool, and there's my bike. Um, now I'm on the bike, I think I'll be all right. Right, I'm gonna head back to the trader and see what reward we get. Right, we made it. We're back at the trader, let's see what he's got to offer us. Hopefully it's a pretty decent reward, but I'm gonna make a guess. Magnum bullets. <laughs> Let's see. No, an iron spear. Again, I don't really like spears, so uh, it's worth 240 bucks. We could just sell it straight back to him, if I'm honest. Um, you know what? I'm going to do that. So let's have a look and see what we can sell. We're going to sell that spear. You can have it back, thanks for the reward and all, but robotic parts, I might keep them. Machete parts, I'm going to sell those. Machine gun parts. Um, I'll keep those two for a minute. Let's get rid of that book and that book. The armor that we said we... Oh, he doesn't want the armor anymore. Fine. Anyway, what does he have over here for us? He does have a hunting rifle, uh, which we could buy. We could get a workbench with a cement mixer. I could just buy both of those, actually, if I wanted to. I was hoping he's restocked a little bit here. Let's have a look in his secret stash. No, I don't think he's restocked, is he? Because he's still got the, the gyrocopter. Yeah, he has. But there's nothing really I need the workbench and all for at the moment. Um, the hobo stew recipe is pretty cool. But no, I think we will hang on for a minute. I might pop back and get these two. Then they are just done and dusted. What does it Gratitude. cost to make a workbench anyway? And can we even make it? Okay, we need advanced, advanced engineering unlocked. And the schematic. So I could save actually on points by buying those two. Yeah, I might do that. So I'm going to go and sort my bag out. And then I'm going to pick up some money and come back to the trader to buy those. Right, so I'm back again. We've got loads of jukes here. But let's sell all that. That's like nearly a thousand bucks there. There's another book here we can sell. He didn't want that, but that's okay. No worries. Um, a few more things here. 
Right, okay, so I, I want that workbench and I want that cement mixer. That's two things now that I don't have to put points into to get, so. Um, and it's, it, you know, we've got still quite a bit of money left. We've got 9,000 and we're just going to keep looting and we're going to make more money back. Simple as that. So anyway, let's have a look to see. There's my workbench. So mixer, cool, huh? Let's have a look to see what jobs you have. Tier twos, we love the tier twos. Clear zombies. Got to be the funnest one, isn't it? So that's north. I suppose we could go hit up the clear zombies in the north. Let's have a little look at that. Um, that treasure map. Yes. Let's go and do that treasure map. That's what I want to do. There's a tier two building right there. There's another trade center that it's showed us. It, that sometimes the trader gives you, after so many quests, the trader will give you the location of another trade route. I also did find another trader over here as well. So that's three traders. Maybe while we're there. No, we'll keep on clearing the ones for him because it's basically our hometown. So, right, we're going to make our way over to the treasure map. Right, we're in the location of our treasure map. And we've got a couple of strays that want to stop us from doing our thing. Don't you swing first at me. I ain't got much stanima, so I have to watch it with her, really. Yeah, okay, she's down and out. Right, so what we got, so first is looking a bit thirsty. So let's get that and let's get the shovel on. Let's see what's in this treasure. Now this isn't this isn't a quest. This is um Nicola's treasure map that we found a while back, and I've had it here for a while, so I think we're gonna make pretty much our money back. So um let's have a little dig underneath here and let's see what we get.
Okay, now that took a long time to find the treasure. It was very deep, but look, not too bad. We got three and a half grand just out of the Dukes. And that was, that's, you know, that's anywhere up to about a thousand as well. So all in all, not a bad little haul that. Don't know if you've just seen in the video back there, but there was a zombie come out of nowhere trying to get down and take me out. I wasn't having any of it though. So, I'm going to head back to the base and sort out my bags as usual, and then I will have a chat. Right guys, made it back to the base and sorted out the bags. Um, I did manage to get a load more clay, so we can get quite a few more of these uh, farm plots down actually. So, changed my mind a little bit, and I'm going to make them a little bit wider. I'm going to do them as threes, I think. So we can have three, six and then nine so like a whole plot of nine of the corns and then i'll do the same with the hades so we'll have nine of those and i don't know if i want that to be it three six nine um is nine at a time enough i might go one more row and go for the 12 actually so, is there what, any more? Yeah, there is one more there being built. So, that's what we're going to do, okay? So, we're going to fence that in around there and around there. And then we're going to have a walkway all the way around so you can get around it all. Look, all the way, all the way. And we're going to have a walkway here. So, we're going to have a new farm plot starting there. All right? And then that's going to be maybe a six because it's going to be like my coffee and then a six over here, which will be other things which aren't as important as the um, the corn and the potatoes. So, yeah, so I'm really happy with that and we're going to fence that. It's going to look really good and it's just going to be different plots for different crops, plots for crops. You got it, guys. Hey, I'm a rhymer. You know it, I'm a poet, baby. Here's another one. So, <clears throat> anyway, guys, I'm going to call that episode there. We've managed to get a pretty cool farm going, which is going to help us out a lot, because you can see the green bar down in the bottom, just down here. That rapidly goes down, and I get hungry a lot. There is just not enough food out there to sustain me right now until we get this bad boy growing. And look, I mean, they're growing now. They're growing. They're going to get there. Um, so we've got a farm going. We cleared a building out over here, which got us some rewards. And then we went up and did this treasure map, which I've had here for like ever, but we did it. Next episode, we've got a tier two clear out over here and we're gonna say hello to this trader. We might as well swing down to this one and see what they've got. They might have a motorbike there for us, which is gonna help us out a lot for getting around. The bike's cool, but that will help us out even better and um, you'll probably be able to keep you on camera, like, you'd be able to see how cool the bike is, the motorbikes, they're, they're pretty fun, especially the one with the spikes, because you can, like, ram the zombies and stuff. Um, anyway guys, I hope you liked that episode, it was a nice chilled one today, bit of farming done, a few quests, if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe, it helps out a lot, and, um, I'll see you guys in the next one, take care and bye bye for now.